Now let's move on to our second segment, building your career. As someone who has been a, a, in, in your uh, field and your company for, for many years, do you ever stop evaluating? Or do, is there ever content or, mm -hmm. or is your um, uh, message to, to continue to be ambitious and look for new opportunities? So I've been there almost 30 years and I, I you know, you never, things change around you. I just, I, you, I wouldn't even describe ever being content. I'm always trying to look for the next opportunity. There's just new things happening around us. So I keep my eyes open as far as what's happening in the company, but I also take, um, I take continuing education. I also uh, try to keep an eye on pieces of the company that are new and exciting and maybe go talk to one of those folks, uh, find a mentor over in that area. There's always some new project going on, always something mm -hmm. new and exciting. Paula, you're an ambitious young engineer. Do, do you identify a, a particular, with a particular pathway? I think that as somebody very early in my career, mm -hmm. the best thing that I can do is to be a bit of a jack of all trades. So that means building up competence as a project manager while still maintaining my technical roots. One thing that we've discovered is that having only one person that is able to do a particular type of thing can be very caustic. If that person leaves the company, then you have a knowledge gap. Mm -hmm. So making sure that people are cross-trained is something that we've identified as being very important. Jennifer, uh, do you uh, specifically see a career pathway uh, within uh, your organization uh, in terms of some of your own personal ambition and what you would like to do? I think I have my own interest, um, but I think it also takes you know talking with uh, other engineers and senior engineers to figure out what opportunities are out there. So the, then there's you know obviously. Uh, the ambition and the interest in doing many different things. And then there's the discomfort uh, around doing something that you've never done before. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Cindy, how do you uh, teach, encourage uh, in, in that kind of uh, uh, that world of not knowing uh, how to do something? I actually have a little uh, magnet on my desk drawer that says do something every day that scares you and and our leaders when we hear them talk to leadership development groups they say the same thing if you're not doing something a little scary a little new it's you're not stretching yourself and that's true you have to do that's how you're going to learn and grow so we all know that that jobs are naturally uh, challenging um, and that's why they call it work, right? <laughs> uh, so, any uh, along those lines, when is is there uh, moments that uh, that that any of you have basically felt that okay, it's time uh, essentially that I might need to look for either a totally new opportunity within my organization or look to a different organization. I think what you have to do is, and uh, people say this all the time, but you know, it doesn't matter how much you make in a job if you're not going to enjoy it at all. And, and you can make $200,000 a year if you're not enjoying what you're doing at all, then you're just miserable every day. And I think as an early career engineer, you, you look around and you see the projects that you're working on and the people that you're working with and you think about, you know, is this something I can see myself doing 5, 10, 15 years down the road? Because if it's not, then maybe it's time to get on the boards on your company's job posting board and see if there's a job in another mm -hmm. another group. We actually have an electronic posting for jobs and uh, there's many, many, many jobs. There's opportunities in every state, um, even international opportunities. So it, I think it's a great opportunity to move laterally and mm -hmm. just gain a broad experience, especially in my case as a project manager, the, the broader your experience and background is, the better you are in that job because you bring that whole mm -hmm. diverse group of uh, knowledge to your position. So it's highly encouraged it's, and it's a good thing to do. So with large companies, you may have the opportunity to move to another division, but within a small company, you may reach that certain point where there's not a next level to move up. So you may have to look elsewhere. So that's something that you may need to realize and keep in mind the structure of your company if it's a small company and that you may have to look outside for opportunities. Yeah. That was a really great discussion on building your engineering career. 
I really found it valuable to hear about all of your experiences with your jobs and how you're building your personal careers. Thank you. Thank you.